What's up guys? Hopefully you guys are doing all right. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you believe in. Hopefully you have a good one or you had a good one. I've had a few of you ask for like a little shop tour, so I'm gonna do that. And I uh, got a couple questions for you guys. Uh, I mean, I don't really know where to start. Start over here, I guess. We got the cherry picker, the engine stand. Put all my oil antifreeze down those jugs. This is all LS engine parts when I stripped that engine down. Remember I uh, asked if you guys wanted to see me put the LS and the S14 or if you guys wanted the VR4 rebuilt. Every single one of you guys said you'd rather see the VR4 so that's what we've been doing. There's the FD. That's a 93. I do have a 95. This one's with a tan interior. It's red with tan and black interior. The uh, 95 is a black interior cloth. It's a base non-sunroof too. There's the R8 exhaust. For those of you that weren't here when I had that car, I didn't exhaust on that. There's the Huracan. I got a bunch of plans for this. I just, I gotta get the VR4 done before I can do this. You know, I, I've talked about it before. I already got wheels. Daily Driven Exotics hooked me up with a set of wheels. I wanna put an exhaust on here. And I don't really see too many people like walking you through how to work on supercars. So I think that'd be cool for me to like actually show you how to do an exhaust. When I did it on the RA, it's pretty much the same thing. They're actually super easy. Take the bumper off and it's like four bolts after that. Most of you probably know about the VR4 if for some reason you don't. Completely rebuilt engine. I got 15G turbos on there. I completely stripped it down and redid the engine bay. Sanded it all down to bare metal, primer, painted it. Got BC coilovers, all new tie rods, ball joints control arms if you stick around to the end there'll be a little 30 second montage of this from the beginning until now it's pretty cool to see the progress of this getting completely redone and then i mean down here a couple of you guys in the past have asked about these these are like go jacks they uh can go underneath the wheel of the car that's like how i got that back in this corner you just put one on each wheels and then jack it up with your foot and then you can push it any direction you want like repo guys usually have those to like get a car out of a spot where they can't hook their truck up to keep all like my oil and fluids and stuff down there and then here's my uh toolbox just a craftsman toolbox i got it from sears like right before they went out of business up top here keep sockets metric standard here's the big boy that's the big impact if you can't break it loose with that it's gonna break it'll break before this thing is amazing. This uh, outperforms like any air impact. That's why I got it. Got a drill. Just normal impact. Got the ratchet. This thing it, it literally will cut your time in half if you remember to use it. And then I got, you know, these. I, uh, I can't remember what these are. These might be like 16s. I um, only needed these for the R8. They were super expensive too for me to get off the truck. I like needed them that day. And so I called the truck to bring them to me. It was the most expensive thing in this whole entire thing probably. Here's spark plug sockets, big impact sockets, charger, got some safety glasses, notepad, magnets up there, lights. And this drawer is ratchets, extensions, swivels. This is just stuff that you like barely ever use. You know, I got oil filter wrenches. Here's a clutch alignment tool. Here's 10 point sockets, like a O2 sensor removal tool. There's pliers. There's metric wrenches. That's standard. There's screwdrivers, Allen keys, nut drivers. Right here, I just keep, you know, some more random stuff, honestly. Step bits, silicone, grease, a punch. I got thickness gauges, markers. Up here is just all extra double, triple tools that I got that I just throw up here in case one breaks. There's cotter keys, hose clamps. There's picks, files, toothbrush, Zacto knife, razor blades, really sharp picks, hammers, pickle fork, pipe wrench, pry bars. And then this is all like specialty tools. Like every single one of these are different. This is all like Allen keys and star bits and everything. This set right here, I'll actually open this for you. I was super excited when I got this set. Got this off the Matco truck. I always wanted one of these. See what I'm saying? It's like star bits, hex bits, but it all will let you hook up to a ratchet. It's pretty much any size. And then all this other stuff, you know, there's like a puller. These are both tap kits, metric and standard. One's metric, one's standard. That's an install kit for harmonic balancer that I'll probably never actually use. Here's another pulley or puller. Uh, there's a brake flare tool down here saw 10 snips this is a soldering kit that a buddy of mine gave me this thing actually is a piece of shit. 
Then down here is like grinders, sanders, wire wheels, flap wheels, heat gun, Dremel. This is just uh, pretty much nothing but drill bits and stuff. Same thing with that, that's drill bits. And this is for the Dremel. Then there's like electrical stuff. Are these snips right here? Best things you can buy. They're like ratchet snips, they'll cut through anything. I actually think they're made for PVC pipe. I can't remember what they're actually made for, but they will cut through even like copper pipe. Here's just like big wrenches, breaker bar, torque wrench, pipe cutters. And then that's just where I like keep all my instructions or anything that comes with anything. And then over here is pretty much, I turned this into like sanding stuff. I don't know how much you guys can see. That's just a bunch of different sizes of sandpaper. There's a stable gun, sandpaper. There's like gasket stuff to like make a gasket. And then I have a bunch of these like gaskets that I actually bought twice. That's just randoms. And then I got like over here, that's where I keep, you know, like seafoam brake cleaner, PB blaster, WD-40, carb cleaner, electrical cleaner. Usually keep all my towels and rags. There's some paint down there, Brillo pads. And then this over here that I hung up, I uh, kind of just have like odds and ends in here. Like that's like body tabs. Up there's just random stuff. Down here is where I keep all like my O-rings, crush washers, hose clamps. There's my little air conditioner. This is like my press, like a ball joint tool. There's really nothing over here. Those are actually a set of mirrors for like an F-250. I ordered mirrors for the Duramax when I first got it, like tow mirrors, and they sent me Ford ones, and then they said they didn't want them back. Over here is just, you guys see this all the time. Pretty much where I keep parts, I work on stuff here. Right here is just bolts, nuts, washers, my torches, zip ties, screws, nails. Got my jack, my jack stands, there's a big press. There's just, I don't even know what you call this. It just like holds stuff in place for you. You can like screw it up. I just used that on the last video. Big pry bar, four way. Keep my grease gun back there. Got some extra belts back there. Over here is where I like keep all my cleaning stuff. My power purple, there's a bunch of like quick detail, wax, final wipe, window cleaner, soap, scrub brush, some chamois. That's like one of those automatic brake bleeder things and it doesn't work at all. If you guys remember that video of me trying, I don't even know if I ever put that out. That thing was worthless and they wouldn't take it back because I already used it. That's an ozone machine. I bought that really just for the VR4 because I could not get rid of the weed smell when I got that car. And then this is just like my parts wall. Every time I take off a part that like is in somewhat decent shape, I'll either clean it up or uh, put like grease on it so it doesn't uh, rust and I hang it up. Subs up there, those were in my old work truck. I can't ever throw away parts. So up there is like stock coilovers for the GTR, stock coilovers for an RX-7 FD, the cheap CX racing coilovers that came on the 3000 when I got it. Over there is like paint and stain and stuff. This is the acid stain I used over. This is supposed to be like my little office area. I have just yet to finish it. It's been like two years and if I got time, I'd rather work on the VR4. I wanted to turn it, like I stained the floor. You can't really see it right now because it's dirty, but it looks like marble when it's cleaned up. I'm planning on putting like a computer here, putting some drywall and stuff up. Maybe eventually like doing live streams or something in here. I don't know. I wanted this to be like my office. But right now it's kind of just turned into another place to put parts at so I can keep stuff organized. All Everything that ever came off the VR4 is up there. I can always put it back to stock. Everything that came off the RX-7 is up there. I think that's it. Well, that's pretty much a tour of the shop. It's nothing fancy. All you guys kept asking about it. There you go. So I got at least one question for you guys. I, I asked this like two years ago. I've been thinking about it for like three months. What do you guys think if I change my name? And like five of you guys threw a fit last time I asked saying, no, I have to stick with my name. My name's Hurricane Ian. The only problem with that name is, is when you tell people that and they look it up, it immediately auto corrects to Hurricane Ian. And they start seeing all these videos about hurricanes. Or even to this day, I got people that sit here and talk crap that sit here and say, I spell hurricane wrong and i have to sit here and tell them to google it let me know what you guys think if you guys have a good name let me know i was thinking about just doing like 818 ian that's the date of my accident was 818 and then ian just getting ready of the huracan since i rarely even make videos with that car i think i've made two videos this year with it happy holidays again to you guys hopefully everything goes good for every single one of you guys we'll see you in the next video it'll be monday i uh, just don't know what it's gonna be because i can't get an ecu by this monday coming up there's no way I can do it. There's stuff I can do on the interior. Just let me know what you think. I'm not going to change my name if you guys don't want me to. I hardly ever ask this. If you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to hit that like button. I mean, I don't really suspect any new subscribers are going to subscribe to this. So if you're new and you've stuck around this long, go around and check out some of my other videos. If you like it, hit subscribe. All right, boys. I'll see you later.